Here we are in the rainbow, indeed, yes. Just your regular hangout. That's one of them, yes. How often do you sort of come down? Uh, oh, you know, on national holidays or um, on a Sunday <laughs> afternoon, you know, just before I go to church for an evening <laughs> mass. <laughs> Or evening mess. <laughs> I come in about three times a week. I mean, it's only two blocks from where I live, you know. And it's downhill going home. <laughs> That's important. Oh, yeah. It's handy, that. <laughs> Guy in Wales carved it and presented it to me, this fucking great lump of, like, granite in it. And uh, I, I, I told him I'd bring it over here, see if they'd put it in the sidewalk, and they did. So, hooray. Hooray for me. Right, and yeah, him, cool. where you're sitting, Joe DiMaggio met Marilyn Monroe on a blind date. This used to be called Le Voyager, and it was an Italian restaurant where Sinatra and all his mates hung out. Uh, you know, it's changed because time's changed. You know, it's like another planet now from when I first came here. People are different, they think different, they act different. They are different, so fuck them. That's what I say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, the old days, like, weren't always worse. The old days here were better, to a very, very large extent, believe me. We were optimistic, instead of being fucking doomed like they are now. You know. This doomed thing is really, you know... It's, it's fear mode. It's a bit fucking uphill. It's what? Yeah. It's fear mode. The government programming fear, pure, fear and everybody. Yeah, but they were frightened then, too, because they used to have riots down the strip here. The cops used to beat them up with billy clubs in the 70s. Oh, wow. And, like, you know, they weren't scared then. They, they were like, you know, they were up for it because they, they knew. Starbucks. <laughs> yes, and thank God on for that corner. too. On every corner. Seriously. Fucking Starbucks. Yeah. On every corner. Well, that's, I'm, I believe that they're going to outlaw booze in bars soon. We're, going, <laughs> we're all going to sit and drink fucking Starbucks and not smoke. <laughs> or if we do, we have them smokeless fucking cigarettes. You know. Oh, I don't know what's the matter with everybody. You think you can be safe? You can't be safe because a car might run you down any second. Think of that. Never come out the house again. I don't need you on my street, you f afraid motherfucker. You know, what, what's the matter with people? They, they just want to go to work and come home and lock themselves in behind bars and a big fucking thing around the garden like it's a medieval fucking fortress. You know. <laughs> Christ, who, who are they hiding from, then? <laughs> you know, because if the guy want to get in, he get in, you know. They just boost each other over the fence and hip pop, you know. I mean, a jumbo jet taken off from LAX, right? It's like 2,000 smokers smoking 200 cigarettes a day for 30 fucking years. And they want me to stop smoking this? Fuck off, you know, be serious. If you're going to be serious, stop automobiles driving through LA, then I'll give up smoking. Yeah. I volunteer for it, you know. But unless you're going to do that, then don't be fucking futile, you know, slogans. The charts were always crap, man, right from the, when they started having them. You know, there's always, all the shit was up there in the fucking top ten, you know. You might get a few, like, rock and roll things in the top, bottom half of the top 20, but not a lot, you know. I mean, I did like it when you could get, say, the Yardbirds in the same charts as, you know, Barbara Streisand. That was interesting, because you only had one chart to try and get in. I mean, we went straight in at number one in the national chart, not the heavy metal fucking chart, or the alternative chart, or the postmodern chart, or the urban renewal chart, or, uh, you know. Or the one man with the leg on a donkey chart. You know, I mean, what the fuck, you know? What, what's the point of going to the top of the chart, your own little chart? You know, that doesn't mean anything. 